Uh, hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm a PhD student at UNT. Um, right now we are putting a GPS tracker onto a female American kestrel. Um, our glue is currently drying onto these knots. So we're hoping to get a full year of GPS data um, from this logger. Hopefully we can recapture her next year. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jim Bednarz and I'm working with Kelsey on study, studying the winter ecology and hopefully the migration patterns of American kestrels. And I've been working with Kelsey for a couple years right now. Putting, uh, we're starting to put on trackers and we banded oh, over 120 kestrels and we've been monitoring their survival now uh, for about four years. This blue is a non-toxic um, fabric dye, and we use that because it makes it easier to identify within the season. So if we see a kestrel with the blue mark on her upper right breast, we know which one this is, so that we don't even have to read the band code. So this is actually a falconry hood, um, and when they can't see, they can't really fly anywhere, so it keeps them a lot calmer. Putting on a tracker on American Kestrel D51. Kelsey's tightening up the straps. Putting the cardboard in there to prevent the super glue from adhering to the feathers. Cutting off the extra strap material. Kelsey will super glue this knot out of it. The knot and the ends of the Teflon. Where's that sitting? It's right there, yeah, I've been holding it. Perfect.